another interesting uh, way that we use this in the scheme of fleet learning, and the other project that I will talk about is a path prediction. So while you are driving the car, what you're actually doing is you are annotating the data because you are steering the wheel. You're telling us how to traverse different environments. So what we're looking at here is a, some person in the fleet who took a left through an intersection. And what we do here is we, we have the full video of all the cameras, and we know that the, the path that this person took because of the GPS, the initial measurement unit, the wheel angle, the wheel ticks. So we put all that together, and we understand the path that this person took through this environment. And then, of course, this, uh, this, we can use this for uh, supervision for the network. So we just source a lot of this from the fleet. We train a neural network on, the, uh, on those trajectories. And then the neural network predicts paths uh, just from that data. So really what this is referred to typically is, is called imitation learning. We're taking human trajectories from the real world and we're just trying to imitate how people drive in real worlds. And we can also apply the same data engine crank to all of this and make this work over time. Um, so here's an example of path prediction uh, going through a um, kind of a complicated environment. So what you're seeing here is a video and we are overlaying the, pr the predictions of the network. So this is a path that the network would follow um, in green. And some, yeah. I mean, the crazy thing is the network is predicting paths it can't even see with incredibly high accuracy. It can't see around the corner, but it's, it, it, but it's saying the probability of that curve is extremely high, and so that's the path. And it nails it. You will see that in the cars today. Uh, we're we're going to turn on augmented vision so you can see the, 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 the lane lines and the path predictions of the cars uh, overlaid on the video. There's actually more going on under the hood that you can even tell. I mean, it's kind of scary, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. And of course, there's a lot of details I'm skipping over. You might not want to annotate all the drivers. You might annotate just. You might want to just imitate the better drivers. And there's many technical ways that we actually slice and dice that data. Um, but uh, the interesting thing here is that this prediction is actually a 3D prediction that we project back to the image here. So the path here forward is a three-dimensional thing that we're just rendering in 2D. But we know about the slope of the ground from all of this, and that's actually extremely valuable for driving. Uh, so path prediction actually is live in the fleet today, by the way. So if you're driving cloverleafs, if you're in a cloverleaf on a highway, until maybe five months ago or so, your car would not be able to do cloverleaf. <laughs> now it can. That's path prediction running live on your cars. Uh, we've shipped this a while ago. And today you are going to get to experience this for traversing intersections. A large component of how we go through intersections in your drives today is all sourced from path prediction from automatic labels. <laughs> 